Hello, welcome to the introduction for EBSP 501 Environmental Management. My name is Dr. Emily Kushto. I'm one of the instructors for the class. I might not necessarily be your instructor, but what I'm about to tell you is relevant for all the classes and all the instructors. I want you to think about an environmental issue. Does that issue have a simple solution? And does everyone agree on the issue and the solution? Probably not. That's because environmental management and issues are very complex. And this class lays the foundation of how to deal with those complex environmental issues. What do we use to investigate them and to develop strategies and address problems and the controversies? The course outcomes are all listed on the left for you, and I'm not gonna read them out. You can read them in your own time, but what I wanna to talk to you about is the relevance to the field. Not only do I teach this class, but I also work in the field. And what's really cool is that what I do every day at work is what I'm teaching in the class. So it's fun to be able to come to class, teach something and say, oh, and I did this today at work as well. Because what we look at is how do we get these environmental decisions that are rarely straightforward and require complex evaluation, how do we break them down into manageable steps? And then how do we get make sure that we understand the complete issues and we make sure that we understand who all the stakeholders are. Because once you do that, then you can keep moving through the steps to develop some recommendations and to make sure everyone's on board and to finally implement successful environmental management plans. There are no prerequisites for this course. I just wanna make sure that you all have a willingness to learn and a love for the environment. This course is the first one for people getting their Master of Science in Environmental Policy and Management. It's also one of the first classes and required for a number of graduate degrees, which are listed there. And finally, it's also required for people who are getting their um, concentration in environmental policy in the Master of Public Administration. So on behalf of all the instructors of the course, I'd like to welcome you. I look forward to seeing you in class and we're gonna be learning from each other for this great foundation of environmental management.